Hello, I'm Marco Morezzi of the DMR Association. This short video is to tell you about the key benefits of DMR technology. Perhaps the most obvious benefit of DMR is that it enables a single 12.5 kHz channel, as used today for analog, to support two simultaneous but independent calls. This animation shows how, with DMR, the full 12.5 kHz channel width is still used, but time division multiple access technology is used to divide it into two alternating time slots, time slot 1 and time slot 2, where each time slot acts as a separate communications path. As a result, DMR technology doubles capacity, while preserving the performance characteristics of the 12.5 kHz signal. And keeping the 12.5 kHz channel also enables radio users to keep hold of existing 12.5 kHz licenses to ensure backwards compatibility with their own legacy radios or with an external organization's analog system. As you can see, as DMR uses 12.5 kHz channels, the required spectrum compatibility is built in. With the DMR TDMA approach, you also get two communications channels with one antenna, one repeater, and a simple duplexer. Compared to FDMA solutions, two-slot TDMA achieves two six and a quarter kilohertz channel equivalent efficiency while minimizing investments in repeaters and combining equipment, which saves you money. And at the same time, DMR technology provides better background noise suppression than analog, so that the quality of the call is maintained even at the farthest edges of the transmission range. This means that digital DMR conversations are clearer than many analog conversations would be over the same channel. But because both conversations are using the same well-understood 12.5 kHz channels full bandwidth, there is no degradation in range performance and no added risk of interference. One of the reasons why DMR has an excellent range performance is that a great deal of effort was put into selecting forward error correction and cyclic redundancy check coders when developing the standard. These coders help receiving radios to detect and to automatically correct transmission errors. They do this by analyzing bits inserted into the messages so that the receiving radio can tell if there's an error. From all of us at the DMR Association, thank you for watching.